So Mazia Zezako, the leader of the traditionalist group in Eastern Nigeria, has uh, brought out 20 million naira to give to any pastor who would heal his friend who is deaf and dumb. This is my brother Osemena, my age mate as well, from the same village. Uh, this our brother was born deaf and dumb. So we need a pastor that will come and claim 20 million naira from me uh, and my followers all over the world. That we hear this, my brother. He was born deaf and dumb. <laughs> So, and I think that this is a kind of mockery, you know, proposal. You know, it's a mockery proposal in the sense that he knows that uh, none of these pastors would come out, you know, to take that 20 million naira in order to heal his friend. Because we all know that the healing of God is not just for everybody. Even Jesus said it. That is not for everybody. It's something that has to do with faith. When you believe in God, when you believe in God, God will heal you. You don't just bring out somebody out of challenge. You expect God to heal the person. What Matthias Ezra uh, doesn't know is that it's not really those pastors, these pastors that are healing these people that, that are getting healing. It has to do with the Holy Spirit. Healing or miracle has to do with the Holy Spirit. And this is what he doesn't know, okay? And actually, he doesn't believe. He doesn't believe in healing. He doesn't believe in miracle. He believes that any sick person, anybody who is sick, should go to the hospital and treat himself. But he has also forgotten that there are people who hospitals have failed. And these people, they are helpless. They don't have any other hope except to put their hope in supernatural being, which is the almighty God who they believe that can heal them. And these people were talking about, they are Christians. This is their faith. This is what they believe in. They believe that God can heal them. They believe that Jesus can heal them from any kind of sickness that they are into. They also believe that, Je that God can bring them out of every situation that they are inside. But people who are faithless, who do not believe in Jesus and who do not believe in the Holy Spirit, who do not believe in the Almighty God and His ability to heal people and His ability to set people free from all kinds of problems. People like uh, Matthias says that will always, will always rise up to, you know, to speak against to speak against all these things, okay? And whenever I hear him say it, whenever I hear him say all these things, it, it, it pains me, okay? It pains me because somebody like him who had been a Christian in the past, you know, is finding it difficult to believe that God can heal, you know? So he is challenging them because he doesn't believe at all that God can heal anybody. He doesn't believe that your mighty God can heal the deaf and dumb. Okay? There are places where it's recorded in the Bible that Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ healed the deaf and the dumb. Dumb people. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He, he made people speak. He, come, he performed all forms of miracle. But Matthias says, does not believe. And what they go about, what his lies go about saying, you know, they go about, you know, uh, mocking Christianity, mocking Christians. And one thing I have to say is this, and one thing I keep saying is this, one day, something is not me like it's not that i'm causing him but this is what i know that has happened to, to people who do not believe that god can do miracle or that god can save or that does god one day one day maybe just one day god will just rise up to show himself to him and the way it will happen he will beg for his miracle he will beg for him he will beg for all those things that he has decided not to accept you understand me it is not wrong okay i don't see anything wrong in not accepting other people's religion okay or other people's belief but there's a lot of things that are wrong with you know mocking other people's religion there's a lot of things that it, that is wrong with 
mocking other people's religion or mocking other people's belief or mocking other people's god god you understand uh i believe that you can tell your own people let's say if i'm a christian if a pastor comes inside a christian community and say please do not worship idol do not worship paganism do not go after paganism okay now he's saying it okay it's okay it's acceptable or if Ma Mataya says that goes to his uh people and say do not ever go to uh go to uh, uh worship jesus he's right because he does not believe in jesus and his people his followers shouldn't believe in what he doesn't believe so he is right to tell them don't believe but when he comes to the social media to mock christianity i find it very very wrong because there's always freedom of worship and christians can believe in whatever they want to believe you understand christians can believe in whatever they want to believe you know and worshiping their gods they can worship their gods anyhow they want they can you know believe in whatever they want to believe okay but for somebody to come and tell christians how what and what they should do and what and what they should believe in and what and what should they shouldn't believe in it is wrong the point that he's always making is this he said that his mission is to stop people who are always running to houses of prayers who are always run to the houses of prayers when they are sick he said that his purpose is to stop them but these people that are coming to the houses of prayers they believe that god can heal them so if you are not a christian and if you don't believe that god can heal these people then day or day let us day our day stay on your lane let us stay on our, on our lane so I don't understand Matthias Ezako. Each time I hear him say this, I don't really keep quiet. Sometimes I decided to ignore him because uh, of his uh, a wallow, a wallowing in ignorance. He's just swimming in the ocean of ignorance. Sometimes I feel, I feel like just ignoring him. But I find it difficult to ignore him. Because any slightest thing that happens in this life, any slightest thing that happens anywhere, he will blame it on Christianity. He will blame it on Christians. But anyway, my dear people, I just said, let me share this one with you. You know, he just, uh, he just being, let's say he's being foolish by going about doing all these things. And I think it's childish of him. It's quite childish. It's quite immature of him to do this. So my dear people, for those of you who are following him, better be careful, better beware the way you talk, because very soon God is going to strike. And the way he will strike, you know, will be a, in a way that he will beg for his for that healing that he's talking against he will beg for healing he will beg for all these things that he's talking against do not say i didn't tell you it will happen i am not causing him but by the way that he is going he will definitely uh, see the power of god one day one day now one day <laughs> so this is what i said my dear people let me share with you thank you so much for coming this far with me i will see you in my next video god bless you bye bye bye